And welcome to ETF Edge, your go-to place for everything exchange-traded funds. I'm your host, Bob Pisani. Two ETFs launched last week, one to address the still-growing interest in crypto, the other a different business, buffered ETFs, let's call it. Let's talk to the principals of both of these new ETFs. David Bott said is the managing director and the head of equity product management and innovation at Schwab Asset Management. They launched uh, a new fund last week, the Schwab Crypto Thematic ETF, symbol is STCE. It tracks an index of global exposure to companies that may benefit from development of cryptocurrencies and other digital assets. And Bruce Bond is the CEO of Innovator Capital Management. Last week, Innovator launched the Innovator Hedged Tesla Strategy, which seeks to track the upside performance of Tesla to a cap with a maximum quarterly loss of 10% or so. We'll explain all that. It's a little tough. But, David, I want to start with you. Bitcoin's down about 50% this year, a Bitcoin ETF. Who knows when that's going to happen? Uh, but several new crypto ETFs have launched, including yours. Why now, well, with Bitcoin down 50% this year? You know, Bob, with, with the way Schwab Asset Management approaches our product development, we're, we're not trying to time the market. So not providing an indication or, or our thoughts on if we're at a bottom or another place with, with Bitcoin and, and cryptocurrencies and digital assets. It's more about responding to customers asking for exposure in this space and delivering a product that will stand the test of time and provide that access to them. Um, so that, that's really what, what drove us here. And it just it was happenstance that we, uh, we got to a timing of a launch where uh, crypto's where it's at today. Yeah, you know, there must be something in the air. Horizon Kinetics launched uh, a blockchain development ETF uh, last week, uh, an actively managed fund uh, that invests in companies uh, that benefit from digital assets. Uh, but I look at the main holdings here for the crypto thematic ETF. Uh, I see a lot of names that we know well in the crypto space. Uh, these are these are not Bitcoin, but companies. MicroStrategy, My Marathon Digital. I see Riot Blockchain. Uh, I see Coinbase, Silvergate Capital, Robinhood, even Interactive Brokers. Uh, how is this particular thematic ETF different from other crypto thematic ETFs that are out there? Yeah, I think we we really look at our differentiation in two ways. One is on cost, and one is on the index design. On the cost, we've launched the lowest cost uh, crypto-related product in the marketplace at 30 basis points. The other is about the exposure and the index design. And, you, and you're right in that the, the top names in the index and, and ultimately fund holdings are, are much the same across those products. But as you get beyond the top 10, our approach of combining the human insight with AI and, uh, and, and, and models to assess companies uh, exposure to the crypto theme we think is differentiated. So you see a name like NCR Corp, which owns the largest network of Bitcoin ATMs, or Stonex, which is a company that provides institutional investors um, trading of, of crypto as well as custody services. Those are names that are really differentiated in the space. We have other examples in, in Japan and Europe that are in the fund, uh, and we think that over time that's a, that's a big differentiator for investors. Yeah, I think the, the problem here is it's still tough to get pure plays in any of this. Um, with any of these situations here, remember uh, with pot ETFs, for example, a few years ago, that was impossible to get the kind of exposure people actually wanted. Uh, and when you wanted to do gaming years ago, you, you couldn't just say buy NVIDIA because NVIDIA had other products. And you're still limited by the amount of real pure plays that you have out there, aren't you? Isn't that that's still an issue for you? It, it is, it, you know, and I think, Bob, as we, we look at whether it be crypto, any other theme, or, or frankly, uh, take it to, to another uh, approach. When you think about sectors, you think about today's sector products and sector exposures. Well, generally speaking, you say, I want a technology exposure, but you know, think how broad that exposure is in technology. I think what we are doing with our approach in defining a thematic beta um, is a way to systematically assess a company Sometimes it's a great, a large exposure. Sometimes it's smaller that will change over time. We think, that especially those smaller companies, as it has the potential to increase within their business, they may see a, be a larger benefit over time. You know, uh, last week uh, I, I thought about you because I know we we're going to have you on. I saw BlackRock announced that it was teaming up with Coinbase uh, to offer Bitcoin to institutional clients. Now, right now, this seems to be only just Bitcoin, no other cryptocurrencies. But I'm wondering, yeah. that seemed fairly important to me. Are, are we seeing any broader acceptance of, of crypt, 
Co. I mean, BlackRock wouldn't do this on a willy nilly. I mean, what about Schwab clients? Are they asking for more crypto opportunities? And how do you handle something like that? It's still a very speculative investment. It is a very speculative investment, but we are seeing certain segments of Schwab investors that are seeking to provide or seeking access to, to this asset category in their portfolios. So we're looking at ways in which we can do that. This is the first step in that. You know, will there be other ways? Potentially, but I think as part of that, we're also analyzing and thinking about what the regulatory environment looks like in the future. Uh, you know, you mentioned what happened with Coinbase and, and BlackRock. I do think that's a, a recognition that this market is maturing. You know, Bitcoin has been around for over a decade. And as it continues to mature and as other cryptocurrencies and digital assets continue to mature, I think we're going to see them be a, a larger part uh, of our economic uh, environment in the U.S. and globally.